Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing day six of the postpartum workout challenge. We're gonna be doing a full body hit workout today. I am gonna to use optional dumbbells. I'm gonna use seven pounds. You can also grab water bottles or whatever weight feels good to you. You also don't have to use any weights at all, especially if you're newly postpartum. You can do this as a standalone video, but if you're taking part in the postpartum workout challenge, I'm gonna to link to all the details below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I will keep making postpartum workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start with a quick warm up before we grab our weights. We can take our feet hip width distance apart. We'll start with some arm circles, engaging your core, taking some deeper breaths. Let's bring our arms forward. Good, bringing your feet wider apart. We'll squat and then reach to the side. Nice stretch. Last one here. Let's do a little squat, hamstring curl. Let's circle each hip. You can take your right leg and we'll circle it around, really using all the mobility in your hip. Exhale as you bring it around. Good, let's switch to the other side. Last one here. If you want, you can grab your dumbbells now. I'm gonna set the timer for 45 seconds of movement with a 15 second setup. For this first one, we're gonna start with squat walks and a lateral lift. We can hold our weights to our chest, get low, stay low, walk across our mat, and then exhale, lift, go. Core is engaged. A little lower if you can. You can turn to your right. We're gonna lunge back, press, engage, exhale, knee up or full kick. Lunge. Moving with control. Setting up on the other side. Re-engaging your core. Lunge. Exhale as you lift. Every 
Every day we had another fight I was far too blind to realize That our love had got out of control Should've known I was better off alone Now I see you when it's out in the light And I'm leaving your love behind Now I see that you're out of my life You can either put your weights down for this one or keep them on your shoulder. Turn your feet out. We're gonna bring knee to elbow. Exhale, engage. Using your core. Last one, good. Again, if you're newly postpartum, you might wanna put your weights down for this one. We're gonna reach down, lift up. Setting up, go. Exhale, engage as you lift. Not rounding through your lower back at all. Re-engaging your core. Last one. Awesome job. We're gonna turn it to the side again. Now we're going to lunge. Keep your arms down. Row. Reverse kick. Setting up. Lunge. Feeling your scapula move as you row. Setting up on the other side. Good. If 
Shoulders are nice and low down your back. Awesome job. We can place our weights down and let's grab a sip of water. We can come to all fours. So from here, you can either do push-ups on all fours. If you have diastasis recta, you can walk your knees back as safe for you, or we can go up into a downward dog. And then we're gonna do presses in a downward dog position, setting up, engaging your core, wherever you are, go. Awesome job, coming back onto our knees. We're gonna set up for tricep dips. We can go on our heels. You could also go on a chair, dip down, extend your leg, keeping your core engaged. Good. Last one, good. Let's get down safely on our side now. If you have diastasis recti or newly postpartum, you've got your toe taps here. If you can do a little bit more advanced, you can alternate extending. For the most advanced, you can do a bicycle here. Wherever you are, making sure your core is safe. You can take a video of your core if you need to. Awesome job. Release down, Let's take a big breath. And stretch out our hands away from our toes. We can come over onto our side again. Let's take one leg out. Stretching up and over. Deep breath into your side body, side ribs. Good, let's switch to the other side.
exhale, coming up. Let's stretch through a wide-legged forward fold just as far as it feels comfortable, giving yourself a boost. And then if it feels good, you can walk forwards, keeping your knees and toes pointed up. To walk to one side, walking through the other side. Good, come on up. Let's bring our feet in. We can move up to our knees for a kneeling lunge. Bringing one leg forward, shifting your weight, tucking your pelvis under, releasing through your psoas and your hips here. If it feels good, you could place both hands on the inside of your foot and fold forward as well. If you're folded forward, come on up. We're gonna shift to the other side, pressing into your front foot. Feel free to fold all the way forward if it feels good. If you're forward, come on up. Let's bring our knees together. Let's press into one last downward dog. Releasing your heels towards the ground, getting a nice stretch through the backs of your legs. Good. And we can find our way to a comfortable seated position. You did amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that your whole body is feeling great. Tomorrow, if you're doing the challenge, we've got a cardio blast and then a full body stretch to finish the week off. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm also going to link to my free resources in the description box below. I have a weight loss course that I put together as a registered dietitian, my complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap, and you can also access my 30 day postpartum workout plan. I'm going to link to the whole postpartum playlist there and the seven day postpartum workout challenge there.